This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you live on location from the Telecom Exchange in Hoboken, New Jersey. And I am here with my, I'm going to say old friend, I mean at this point, Mike, um, Mr. Mike Jonas. Mike is the president of global customer operations for Light River Technologies. And before we jump into this, typically Mike and I are doing these interviews standing up. And what you might may not know is that Mike is about three and a half foot taller than I am. So we're sitting down today, but last night we were talking and one of the things that I was dared to say during this interview is that we would, I, instead of talking about our height, I would talk about just how handsome we are. So there you have it. Um, I, I have accepted the dare. I'm talking about how handsome we are. And now we will jump into the interview. What Mike. A, what a great start. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Um, so Mike, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them about Light River Technology? Technologies. Yeah, you bet. So we're the uh, largest U.S. integrator focused purely on the design, engineering, deployment, automation, and support of optical networks. Carrier grade networking is all we do. Require fiber, require lasers, and require five nines. That's, uh, that's the place we live. Outstanding. So um, uh, just a, about a year ago, uh, you acquired Unique Computer Services, adopting its esteemed Netflix product, which resulted in a new division of Light River, Light River Software. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Well, so you bet. So uh, as we've done for 20 years, we make uh, disaggregated optical technologies work together in hardware. We've developed the lab. We've developed a, a, a factory just specifically to build these networks, mm -hmm. uh, support organization for that. And increasingly, with the move towards SDN and the move towards further disaggregation of these technologies, it became obvious that um, we had to do more in software. Mm -hmm. We had to make these uh, devices work more efficiently for the operations teams, for the network operations centers, for the architects, and for the capacity planners. So um, given the fact we have pretty good knowledge of the industry, of the, <laughs> of the equipment manufacturers, of, of the technologies that are trending, we identified Unique as, uh, as a fantastic acquisition target. We had worked with them uh, in the past on automating uh, networks, um, uh, Sonnet, starting in Sonnet networks I back in those that. days. I remember that. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 you know, through uh, currently to the DWDM, the flex grid environments, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was a perfect match. So we've made them part of the team. We've been able to accelerate so much of the development process because we have ready access to mm -hmm. the technologies in the lab, on the roadmaps, uh, and directly from the vendors that uh, it's been a fantastic year for us. Very good. Yeah, I mean, uh, we were talking earlier about uh, about some of my notes and the fact that it has been a fantastic year, and it seems like every time we talk, there's something new, legitimately new to talk about, and this Netflix um, is, is a big deal, uh, such a big deal uh, that you were recently recognized, and I want to make sure that I get this right, by, um, by Enterprise Network Magazine's uh, 2018 Top 10 SDN solutions provider, and Netflix has a lot to do with that. So why don't we get into that just a little bit deeper, if that's okay? Yeah, you bet. And so I think uh, the key term there is solution provider, because uh, SDN, network automation, network intelligence, doesn't pop out of a box. <laughs> it doesn't. You've <laughs> got to figure out how to make this work. And, and the, the depth of knowledge we're able to bring on both the hardware and the software sides have helped us to help a number of customers mm -hmm. start moving down the path of, of software-defined networking and, and uh, network automation. And, um, Enterprise networking recognized that, that yeah. you know, we weren't trying to give you a downloadable app that would solve all your problems magically. You know, it's a solution that has to be identified yeah. and We've solved. We've seen those apps before. <laughs> and so um, that's really the difference for us. We've been able to marry so well the hardware and software technologies and uh, with such a depth of understanding of the actual needs of our, of our network operator customers that um, we were able to propel both our technologies, but more importantly, our customers' efficiencies um, in, in a meaningful way this year. And, uh, and we're pleased to have the recognition for it. Outstanding, yeah. And not only the, the recognition, but you're doing some things internally, updating the website specific to the Netflix uh, product and things of that nature. But um, it's an ongoing thing, right? I mean, there are upgrades that need to be made. There are um, feature sets that need to be um, uh, um, constantly reworked to meet your customers' needs. And I understand that Netflix just recent, I believe it was Netflix, it just recently went through an upgrade. Uh, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what that upgrade was all about? 
Yeah, absolutely. So obviously the, the churn of technology is quickening. <laughs> yeah. um, we are innovating, the whole industry is innovating now in, in, in a time period measured in months, not years and, or, or longer, which, sure is, which, is, way, right? which has been yeah. our past. And so um, we do two major releases a year and two point releases a year. And uh, we recently just uh, significantly expanded uh, the deployments we have using Linux. Mm -hmm. That was part of the mm -hmm. recent 3.8 release. Um, a lot of new capabilities around the flex grid environments that are coming in the DWDM space. We've added a number of the DCI boxes in the most recent release. So we are tracking at least evenly, if not a little bit ahead of the uh, technology curve. So again, we benefit from um, very preferred relationships with a number of the leading equipment manufacturers. Mm -hmm. So we do understand what is coming next, what's going to be deployed, what's what's going to help people solve problems. Mm -hmm. And so we get a chance to get a little bit of a head start on that. And um, I hope that our, our both our, our, our manufacturer partners and our customers are benefiting from that. You know, Mike, you just said what's happening next. And so you're creating segues, as you typically do, um, better than I could do for myself. But you're, you're, um, you're celebrating your 20th year right now. So you guys are getting pretty doggone good at determining what's happening next. You've been around a long time. Um, why don't you tell our viewers what's happening next for you? Why don't you tell our viewers what's going to, what, um, how things might change for you, say, in the next six, 12, two years maybe? So I do think that we're going to see further disaggregation of the networks. We, we went through a period of time where the functionality um, for transport networking was being condensed and converged further and further into a single platform. Mm -hmm. We're going to see that broken apart. Um, we, we feel like that's going to be a very positive uh, trend for Light River. You're going to have specifically built purpose-built boxes for switching, for transponders, for DWDM, um, for OTN, and, and they're just going to keep breaking these things up. Making um, these blocks from different manufacturers will give us, uh, as, a, as a integrator here, the opportunity to pick best of breed for every part of the network and then get it to work together, automate it, and, and make it efficient. So we're going to do a lot more work with disaggregated hardware. We're going to do a lot more work making it uh, act as a unified network in software. Mike, it is always a pleasure talking to you. I am most definitely sure that we will be talking more today and, and more in the future. So thanks for joining us today. Very good. Great to see you. Good to see you as well. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.